Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the Gonjam in Rails to transfer data from Ruby to JavaScript. So let me fire up a text editor. The first thing you need to do is go to your gem file and add this gem. Gonna gem just just gone and then you need to run bundle install on your on your app. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. What you need to do next is go to your application. Uh, where is my application? Models view sessions layout application. And you need to you need to add uh, include gone right here into your application. So now you have gone gem in your app, and you now have it. And you're now able to use it. So let's see. Let's say that I want to in my about page. I want to use a certain maybe in my active record a uh, a users. A user's name or a user's email address or something. So I'll go to my controllers. This is static pages, so I'll go to my static pages controller. And in the about, I need to add. I need to add. Gone dot users. We'll, we'll say well, gone dot user equals user dot first. That's my first user in my database. Let's save that. I'll go to my about page and let's see. So let me just create ID equals test one and then gone test. And then I'll make put some JavaScript in there. Let's do an alert. So alert gone dot user dot. I'm using this just like normally if I wasn't if I was just referring to it in Ruby. So static pages controller about gone.user. So I want gone.user, I want I want his name. And that's the first user. So about save this and let's go to let's go to the app and fire it up. Rails S. Okay, and localhost. Go to go to our localhost page. And it's in the about. Hmm, it didn't work. Let me try this again. Uh, gone test. Gone dot user. Gone dot user dot name. That email. Let me try that. Uh, there we are. There's the email. So, hmm, I wonder why name didn't work. So let's try ID. Yeah, I just learned how to do this. Sorry, if it's a little buggy. Yeah, ID one is working. So there you have it. That is how you use 